Hello everyone. I am Sandeep Shukla, Assistant Professor in Electronic Science Communication Engineering, NTIT College, Bhopal. In today's session, we will discuss about the basic measuring instruments in the subject of electronics measurement and instrumentation. Okay, so in this slide, there is the mention about the basic measuring instruments. So the basic measuring instruments classified into two types. First one is the voltmeter and second one is the ammeter. Again, voltmeter and ammeter classified on the basis of the voltage or current can be measured. So the type of voltage that can be measured, the voltmeter classified into two types, that is the DC voltmeter and the AC voltmeter. Now again, the meter on the basis of current that can be measured can be classified into two types, that is the DC meter and AC meter. Here is the practical DC voltmeter. In this fact, uh, DC voltmeter, uh, here is the mention, the two knobs, that is the black knobs, knobs that is used for the positive potential and uh, the red knob that is used for the negative potential and we can measure the DC voltage from 0 to 10 volt range. This is the AC voltmeter. In this AC voltmeter we can measure the AC voltage from 0 to 250 voltage. So here we will discuss about the ammeter. A meter can be classified into two types on the basis of current that can be measured. So when the emitter that can measure the DC current, that is the DC uh, emitter, and when emitter that measure the AC current, that, uh, uh, that called is the AC meter. So in this figure, you can see the DC emitters, and you can measure the DC current from 0 to 50 ampere by using this DC meter. This is the AC uh, emitter. In this AC emitter, you can measure the AC current from 0 to 100 amperes. Now, we will discuss about the basic uh, uh, concept of the voltmeter and ammeter. So, this is the basic concept, which is known as DR meter or a permanent magnet moving coil meter. This is the block diagram, and this one is the top view of this block diagram so we will discuss this block diagram in next slide so in this basic dr stonewall meter or permanent magnet moving coil meter that is uh, patented by dr stonewall in 1981 that is called the moving coil galvanometer the same basic constructions developed by the dr stonewall is used in meter movements today and the basic moving coil system generally referred to as a DR Stonewall meter moment or a permanent magnet moving coil meter moment. The PMMC meter moment operates on the basic principle of DC moment. PMMC meter moment operates on the basic principle of the DC motor. It consists a horseshoe shaped permanent magnet with soft iron pole pieces attached to it. Between the north uh, south pole pieces is a cylindrical shape soft iron core about which a coil of fine wire is wound. This fine wire is wound on a very light metal frame and mounted in a jewel setting so that it can rotate freely. A pointer attached to the moving coil deflects of a scale as the moving coil rotates. In, next, in this slide, again, description of uh, PMMC meter is given. So, the current from a circuit in which measurements are being made with the meter passes through the windings of the moving coil. Current through the coil causes it to behave as an electromagnet with its own north and south poles. The poles of the electromagnet interact with the poles of the permanent magnet causing coil it to rotate. The pointer deflects of a scale whenever current flows in the proper direction in the coil. For this reason, all DC meter movements show polarity markings. It should be emphasized that 
the ds on wall meter movement is a current corresponding device current responding device regardless of the units volt ohms etc for which the scale is calibrated the moving coil responds to the amount of current through its windings on the basis of uh, basic principle of pmc meter we can design the dc volt meter and the dc meter so the what is the basic principle of pmc meter it states that any current carrying coil placed in a magnetic field experiences a force which is proportional to the magnitude of current passing through the coil so this movement of coil is called the diastonal movement and this basic uh, this basic meter is called the diastonal gal uh, galvanometer or pmc meter so by using this basic pmc meter we can uh, used in voltmeter and ammeter so when we design the dc voltmeter so we use the dr sonal meter or pmc meter series with the resistor that is called the multiplier resistor and when we design the dc meter so we use the dr sonal meter or pmc meter with the shunt resistor and when we design the ac voltmeter we use the dr sonal meter or basic pmc meter with the rectifier and same concept used to design the ac meter so dr sonal meter or pmc meter using with the rectifier so in this slide we will discuss about the dc voltmeter so a dc voltmeter uh, which is used to measure the dc voltage across any two points of the electric circuit if we place a resistor in series with the pmc galvanometer then the entire combination together acts as a dc voltmeter the series resistance which is used in the dc voltmeter is also called a series multiplier resistance or simply multiplier and it basically limits the amount of current that flows through the galvanometer in order to prevent the meter current from the exceeding the full scale deflection value so this is the basic circuit diagram of uh, dc voltmeter in this uh, circuit diagram you can see the basic uh, basic pmc galvanometer and in series with the resistance that is the series resistance a series multiplier so we apply the kvl in this circuit this is the two point where we apply the voltage uh, dc voltage which uh, which is to be measured so this is the apply voltage and uh, after the voltage apply this is the resistance series and uh, this is the pmc meter and rm is the internal resistance of the pmc meter and im is the maximum current which is flowing in this circuit so apply the kvl in this circuit v minus im into rc im into rc means the voltage drop across the pmc meter im into rm and the voltage drop across this resistance that is the im into rc so according to kvl v minus im into rc minus im into rm equal to 0 and uh, modifying this equation we can get the v minus im rm equal to im rc and uh, rc equal to v minus im upon im into rm upon im and finally we can get the rc equal to v upon im minus rm the ratio of full range dc voltage that is to be measured voltage and the voltage drop across the galvanometer is known as multiplying factor so that is multiplying factor m equal to v upon vm we will get the following equation for full range dc voltage that is to be measured v equal to im into rc plus im into rm so the dc voltage drop across the galvanometer vm is the product of full scale deflection current and uh, im and internal resistance of galvanometer that is the rm so mathematically we can written as the maximum voltage vm equal to im into rm and uh, m is that is the multiplying factor so m equal to im rc plus im rm upon im rm this equation can be get from this equation here is the mention m equal to v upon vm so 
vm is the imrm and v is the imrse so we can get the m equal to v upon vm means imrse plus imrm upon im into rm so solve this equation and we can get the finally rs equal to rm m minus 1 now in this slide here is the mention about the multi range dc volt uh, voltmeter it means we can measure the multiple ranges of vol uh, voltage by using this multi range dc voltmeter okay so if we want to if we want to use the dc meter for sorry, uh, multi range DC voltmeter. So, if we want to use the DC voltmeter for the measuring the DC voltage of multiple ranges, then we have to use the multiple parallel multiplier resistors instead of single multiplier resistors. And this entire combination of resistors in series with the PMC galvanometer is known as multi range DC voltmeter. This is the circuit diagram. You can see here this is the basic PMC meter, and these resistors are connected in series with the PMC voltmeter. So we can measure the multiple ranges of DC voltage by using this voltmeter. Now, in this slide, we can uh, we discuss about the we will discuss about the dc meter dc meter is can be designed by using the pmc galvanometer with the shunt register rss so in this figure you can see the basic pmc meter and uh, shunt register rss connected in uh, parallel combination with the pmc meter and we can apply the KCL at node 1. You can see the current I is distributed in two branches that is ISS and IM. So, KCL equation at node 1 is the minus I plus ISS plus IM equal to 0. Okay. And uh, ISS equal to I minus IM and RSS equal to IM RM upon I minus IM. And RSS equal to IM RM upon IM bracket I upon IM minus one. So finally, RSS can be get as a RM upon I upon IM minus one. And this M is known as as multiplying factor, and this M is is equal to I upon IM. So finally, RSS means shunt register, which is uh, connected in parallel with the PMC meter can be get by using this equation rm upon m minus 1 okay so in this slide here is mention about the multi range dc meter okay so when we want to use the dc meter for measuring the direct current of multiple ranges so we have to use the multiple parallel resistors instead of single resistors and this entire combination of resistors is in parallel to the pmc meter is known as multi range dc meter you can see the figure this is the basic pmc meter and uh, uh, different uh, type of uh, sun resistors are connected in parallel combination to the pmc meter and we can measure the multiple ranges of dc currents now we will discuss about the ac voltmeter in ac uh, voltmeter we, uh, we measure the ac voltage across any two points of electric circuit so if we want to measuring the ac voltage then we have to follow the two steps first step one is the uh, first step is the convert the ac voltage signal into dc voltage by using rectifier and uh, second step is measuring the dc voltage or average value of the rectifier output signal by using the pmc meter so on the basis of uh, rectifier means uh, rectifier maybe half wave rectifier or full wave rectifier so on the basis of rectifier circuit we can uh, discuss about the two types of ac voltmeter means ac voltmeter using the half wave rectifier and the second one is the ac voltmeter using full wave rectifier so here is the mention uh, AC voltmeter using half wave rectifier. You can see 
the AC input signal, which is applied to the half wave rectifier, and the half wave rectifier convert the AC signal into DC, and this DC uh, voltage can be measured by using the basic PMMC DC voltmeter, and we can read the finally output. So here is the mention how can measure the AC voltage by using two steps. So first AC voltage converted into DC voltage by using rectifier. So here you can see that AC input signal applied apply to the half wave rectifier and this half wave rectifier convert the AC signal into DC. And the second step is the DC voltage. Second uh, is the step is the DC voltage can be measured by using the PMC volt, uh, PMC basic meter. So this DC voltage applied to the DC voltmeter, and we can read in the output. So this block diagram convert into the basic circuit diagram. You can see the diode. This diode is work, uh, work as a half wave rectifier, and this is the series resistance which is connected with the basic PMC meter. So the RMS value of sinusoidal AC input voltage is uh, obtained as VRMS equal to Vm upon root 2 VRMS that is the RMS value, Vm is maximum value of AC signal. So VRMS equal to Vm upon root 2 and uh, we can get the Vm from this equation that is Vm equal to root 2 into VRMS and the root 2 equal to 1.414 so we can get the Vm equal to 1.414 VRMS. And the DC value of the half wave rectifier's output signal is VDC equal to Vm upon pi. So VDC equal to 1.414 VRMS upon pi. You can see the value of Vn. Uh, here is the Vm. Vm is the 1.414. So put the value of Vm in this equation. Means VDC equal to Vm upon pi. So Vm equal to 1.414 VRMS upon pi. And simplify this we can get the VDC equal to 0.45 VRMS. It means in the AC voltmeter by using the half wave rectifier produces the an output voltage which is equal to the 0.45 times of the RMS value of AC input voltage. Okay. Now we will discuss uh, AC voltmeter using the full wave rectifier. In a full wave rectifier The AC voltage is applied to the full wave rectifier and the full wave rectifier convert the AC signal into DC and then this voltage can be measured by using the basic DC voltmeter. You can see the block diagram, AC input voltage, full wave rectifier, DC voltage and we can read the output. Okay, And this basic uh, block diagram converted into the circuit diagram, these four diodes is uh, represented as a full wave rectifier. And this is the series resistance, which is connected in series with the basic voltmeter, a basic PMC meter. So RMS value can be get Vm equal to 1.414 VRMS. And now the average value or DC values of the full wave rectifier is defined as the VDC equal to 2 Vm upon 5. And put the value of Vm from this uh, equation. 1.414 into VRMS, that is the put the value of Vm in this equation, so we can get the VDC equal to 2 into 1.414 VRMS upon 5. So finally, we can uh, get VDC equal to 0 0.9 VRMS. It means the AC voltmeter uh, which is uh, used for, uh, which is using full wave rectifier produce then output voltage which is equal to the 0 0.9 times of the RMS value of sinusoidal input voltage signal. Now we will discuss about the two RMS responding AC voltmeter. Now you can see the figure of AC voltmeter which responds the two RMS value. So as the name suggests the two RMS responding AC voltmeter respond the two RMS value of AC voltage signal and this voltmeter measures the RMS value of AC voltage. You can see the figure. In this figure, first uh, uh, component, the AC signal, which is applied to the AC amplifier, which is to be measured. And uh, there are two thermocouple. First one is the measuring thermocouple. Second one is the balancing. Next is the DC amplifier and PMC galvanometer. So this figure we will discuss in this slide. 
the above two rms responding ac voltmeter consist of uh, various components like ac amplifier two thermocouples dc amplifier and pmc meter you can see in the figure ac amplifier measuring thermocouple balancing thermocouple dc amplifier and pmc galvanometer so here is the mention uh, one by one components ac amplifier amplifies the ac voltage two thermocouples that are used in the above circuits are measuring thermocouples and the balancing thermocouple measuring thermocouples produces an output voltage which is proportional to the rms value of ac voltage signal you can see here this is the measuring thermocouple and the ac amplifier here is the generate the output in proportional to the rms value of ac signal and the second thermocouple convert the square of input quantity into a normal quantity this means there exists a non linear relationship between the output and input of the thermocouple the effect of non linear behavior of a thermocouple can be neglected by using another thermocouple in the feedback so the thermocouple that is used for this purpose in the above circuit is known as balancing thermocouple so there are two thermocouples namely measuring thermocouples and balancing thermocouples together form a bridge at the input of dc amplifier as a result the meter always responds to the true value rms true rms value of ac voltage signal now come to the peak responding ac voltmeter as the name suggests the peak responding ac voltmeter responds to the peak values of ac voltage signal that means this voltmeter measures the peak value of ac voltage you can see the circuit of peak responding ac voltmeter this is the this one is the ac signal which is to be applied for measuring the ac voltage this one is the diode capacitor and dc amplifier and the output of dc amplifier is applied to the basic galvanometer we can measure the peak responding ac signal so here is the mention about this circuit diagram this circuit consists of a diode capacitor dc amplifier and pmc meter you can see in this figure so diode present in the above circuit is used for the rectification purpose okay this diode is used for the rectification purpose means ac voltage converted into the dc voltage so the diode converts the ac voltage into dc voltage and the capacitor charges to the peak value of this dc voltage signal during the positive half cycle of ac voltage signal the diode conducts and the capacitor charges to the peak value of ac voltage and when the value of ac voltage signal is less than this value the diode will be reverse biased so the capacitor will discharge through the resistor of a dc amplifier till the next positive half cycle of ac voltage signal and when the value of ac voltage signal is greater than the capacitor voltage the diode conducts and the process will be repeated we should select the components value in such a way that capacitor charges fast and discharges slowly as a result the meter always responds to this capacitor voltage that is the peak value of ac voltage signal okay student thank you uh, in next session we will discuss about the next topic of this electronics and measurement instruments okay thank you